new python backend based uh, website i'm going to start the server so the command in django is python manage.py run server so now the server is started so i'm going to the server hey okay, my server just started i'm now going to home page for this i am going to uh, write home this is my home page I basically use HTML, CSS and JavaScript for the front end and Django for the back end and for the database I use MySQL. Now it's time to um, go to the sign in page but I have to now sign up so I'm going to sign up page. Now I'm going to uh, providing the credential. Now. Uh, for the verification i have to insert an mail id so i'm uh and so i'm uh yes i'm opening a new mail id here in the inbox you can uh, get there is no mail uh, from the the waste of dot at the rate gmail dot com here you can see there is no any uh, mail from the will uh, yes one is one but I'm going to delete it now there is no mail from the waste of and the mail ID is uh, Raja Qtop at the red gmail.com and I'm going to provide this mail ID uh, okay uh, if I what But what will if if I am going to add the already registered mail? So I am going to add the registered mail. The system shows that the the email is already taken. So I am going to add some new mail. This is now there is no notification. I am going to add my mobile number and the password. It is added now. I am going to submit. So I can get also I get a notification we have sent a verification code in your Gmail please verify your account. So again I am going I will go to home. Now you can uh, see there is a mail from the waste of please click on the link to verify your account. Before clicking on this link i am going to sign in with the same id that was this you can see some errors or a notification hey i can i get a notification we have sent a verification link to your mail id please validate mail here i got the second mail from the waste of so here I can't get access to the account now I'm going to validate my mail here I got also a notification you uh, your mail validate successfully now I'm going to sign in yeah successfully I got access to the account here the my mail ID is shown now in the card there is no any item added so i'm going to add some items here i'm going to buy some fruits so i'm going to add a strawberry hey you can see in the card one item is added and that is a strawberry the old price 150 and price is 135 you can see the total uh, i i saved 15 rupees that is the 10% of 150 and I uh, total amount is 135 again I am going to add some new products I am going to add orange 
again i will, again i will add some new new items that is pineapple hey, here you can got the number of uh, items added in your cart that is 3 so the total amount is 510 and uh, i saved the 71 that is the 40% of the 150 and the total amount is 1439 I'm going to uh, increase the number of pineapple that is 2. You can see the total amount is also altered when I clicked on the number of um, uh, when I increase the number of uh, amount of pineapple and again I'm going to increase the uh, numbers. So here say 159 the total amount and the total number of item of pineapple is 3 now i'm going to remo remove this and this product so you can see i'm only click here and the item is successfully removed and the total price is 279 and i saved 31 this is all about the card process before sign in i just buy some items when i clicked on item it sends the server to the sign in page if you have account so you can access to your card otherwise we have to sign you have to sign up this is the all about my website this is a good e-commerce web website with customized so here about us on the about us page you can no contacts this is contact page this is about page uh, here you can see the number of customer that is already registered with the database or the website there are five customer data that are already registered and one branches so this is all about this website